Hey friends, welcome to Stocks and Crypto Plays. I'm talking about Tesla stock, okay? I was the one warning you to sell Tesla and to short it three months ago when it was going up. And people thought I was like crazy for saying short it, it's going to go down, it's going to go down to 150 actually. And I think at the time I said to start shorting it, it was around 250. And people were loading, loading their bags saying Tesla was going to go to like 500 and then to 1000. I said, nope, it's going down and it's going to crash actually, short it now. And nothing against Tesla, I'm a fan of Tesla and I love Elon Musk, right? But it's about your money. Do you want your money safe or do you want to make money or do you want to lose money? So I warned you, Tesla was going to crash, okay? Now, what's going to happen from here? What are the numbers telling us? Now, you're seeing that number and you're thinking, wow, Tesla looks lower than it's been. I think I'm going to buy it by now and it's going to go up. I'm going to make a lot of money. Based on what? Because it went down? Well, it should be going down. Because when Tesla was actually going up and up and up and up and up, it shouldn't have been going up. It was going up artificially, and I don't know how they managed to do that, but it was. Okay, so if you take a look right now at uh, Tesla, the net inflows, net outflows, right? The newest data we have is March 14th. We see $726 million net outflow of Tesla stock, and Tesla was down today 4%. You take a look yesterday, we had $830 million of net outflow. The day before, $386 million net outflow, negative. We barely had any green. We had a little tiny green on March 11th, $92 million. And when I say tiny, that's tiny in comparison to the, out, the negative outflows, okay? And then you take a look at March 7, 245 million net in. Okay, that's a little bit of a baby win there. March 1st, 264 million net in, baby win. All right, so, but then all the rest from March, you got negative 726, negative 830, negative 386, negative 728, negative 229, negative 569, negative 2 billion, right? And then that's just March. So now what I'm going to show you is the historical data, right? We're looking at days. Now let's took, look at months. I'm going to make it a little bit more clear for you. And on this video, I think I'm just going to have a screenshot. I'm not going to show you the live video, but as I'm doing this video, I have, I'm doing it live with live video, okay? I, I should have my computer um, flashed on here for you, but I didn't start my computer in time, right? So I'm just gonna do photo screenshots and I'll walk you through it. But basically right now, let's take a look at the month historical data for Tesla from March. What, what do you think is the number for March? Are we up? Do we have like positive net inflows for March on Tesla? A lot of people are buying, right? No, nobody's buying. Maybe your neighbor's buying. Maybe you saw a tweet of somebody buying. But big money's not buying. Institutions aren't buying. Actually, they're selling. They're selling as fast as they can. Tesla, for March, okay, we're only halfway through March, we already have $4.17 billion with a B of net outflows, and Tesla's down 20%. And then you take a look at February, negative $4 billion. January, negative 3.84 billion. And then December of 2023, we had a little, little, tiny, little bit of a positive net inflow, actually. It was positive 143 million. Okay, well, I'll give you that. But then November, negative 1.48 billion. October, negative 7.3 billion. September, negative 12 billion with a B negative outflows. Oh my God, How, who's selling all this stock? Is it Elon Musk? I don't think so. I don't know, maybe, but man, are they selling. They are selling, big money is selling Tesla as fast as they can. What do they know? August, negative 7 billion. July, 2023, negative 10 billion. June, 23, negative 300 million. May of 23, negative 4.6 billion. April of 2023, negative 8.44 billion. March of 2023, negative 9 billion. Point nine billion. Ready for this one? February of 2023, negative 16 billion. January of 2023, negative 4 billion. And then after that, you got another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 more months of negative outflows. I'm just not going to list them all. Did you guys even hear what I'm saying? So if you think Tesla, oh, this is a great deal on Tesla. I'm going to start buying it now. It's going to go up. See how low we are? Did you just hear what I told you? 
Big money is selling Tesla stock as fast as they can, as much as they can in humongous numbers. So if you think you're gonna buy 10, 20, 30K or 100K or 250K of Tesla stock and you're gonna make it go up even one cent from that little tiny baby purchase, forget about it. Look at these numbers I just showed you, okay? None of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Was I right three months ago when I posted a video that a Tesla stock was gonna crash? Yeah, I was 100% right. And to prove it to you, I posted a clip of that on my Twitter X so you can see it yourself. And it's in my YouTube, the full video. All right, guys, here's an update for you. Tesla, short it and make a lot of money. None of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Now, keep in mind, you could see a bump up tomorrow. It could be up 2% tomorrow, but then the next day it's down 4% then up 1%, then down 6%, then up 3%, then down 9%. Okay, guys, just use common sense. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.